Okay, let's continue with the head topology here. In the last lecture, we saw how to use the quadro to you know get started. And let's continue doing the head here. So uh, here we created the main two loops here, the eye circular loops and the mouth and then the cheek loops, very important. And you can just follow the loops of mine here. And we just turned off the symmetry because it didn't work properly because of the model. Um, the because the model was not symmetrical it's kind of a asymmetrical model so that's fine we are going to do that manually later so now I'm going to actually continue doing this no head and the neck so let's continue continue from this nose area and here you can see I need to let's extrude this so hold tab and let's extrude and I have a kind of no it's kind of a bridge here and this is the nose center and then this is kind of the height edge let's say the cube and it's like going down there you can just down there okay like this and we can just continue extruding this one as well or oh, I think I should put one here let's see let's extrude this one uh, let's combine this or merge with this one it's automatically going to weld if you like move that to the closer vertices it's going to automatically weld that so that's fine here I just need to move these things a bit okay that's good and then we're going to do this nose part here so let's extrude these things till here make sure this edge is at the center and um, now that's not 100% at the center we are going to you know, do that later so let's move these things here and let's see what can I do here this and here I can just tap drag it something like this So want to rotate it and let's see like this and make sure the silhouette is coming here let's see and then I can put maybe one vertex is here then let's see sometimes you need to you know do some experiment to get this right and let me click here to get this then we can again optimize it so let's click and fill these things it's kind of extruding from there I think that is fine for now let's see and then we are going to extrude this top part here so let's you no know, let's extrude these things or we can put you know, some few vertices matching with these vertices so that I can create the polygon connected polygon something like this oh you can see I missed that thing so undo and then make sure you get that let me move this sometimes it's a little bit tricky and irritating because my can't you no know, recognize those planes and at this position I would like to clear the dots if it's happened then I need to you know take a different approach so let's hold tab and do this by doing this sometimes you can see not allowed to merge yes still it didn't merge that one so that's fine let's okay something like this and let's move on so yeah here I think I should merge this I shouldn't continue with that one okay and triangles are okay if it's a particular area and avoid you no know, having triangles at this you no know, smooth deform area so otherwise for game model triangles are fine but you need to avoid inside polygons 
okay now i need to know move these things or extrude this thing so let's hold tab i i should extrude all these parts here so hold tab go to loop and let's see the loop is still here so i cannot extrude with that so let's go to edge so here i'm going roughly and uh, let's do the same thing okay just avoid this kind of no angular circles there just again hold shift and let's relax this I think I can yeah I can do this okay let's then let's do the same thing let's extrude extrude and extrude let's do the same thing so this this thing takes time and you need to you know sit down and listen to a song and give it the time this is kind of you no know, in production uh, you need to just put put the headphone and listen to songs and do this so you can't avoid this step so again hold shift and you can see how kind of twisted these edges so hold shift and let's relax these things still i can see some twist so i need to do it manually maybe okay that's fine so let's move these things down there okay that's fine that's good and then again i can i can take this and i can like rotate this like this again i need to have the center there and here don't uh, you don't have to be exactly like mine you can know if it's a little bit different still fine because it's a non-deform area the skull part so the topology doesn't matter too much here so if your edge loop is a little bit different then that's fine you don't have to be so precise like mine or you don't have to you know copy the exact loop of mine so here it's not that important so to go ahead and know have fun here so don't worry here no here let me if i have a triangle that's fine there no problem so again hold shift in betweens and try to get smooth flow and here i want to clear the neck so i'm going to again do the same thing uh, let's use the symmetry this time for the neck i think it should work so let's get the you no know, center thing and oh two point there one two so i want to create you no know, eight sided here so let's So I got you no know, three kind of diamond here to the side and then front and back and this side. So we are going to put one one at the center. So let's first create the polygon. I think you can see it's very very hard for Maya to recognize those points because you no know, 
we have a lot of points on the screen here right now let's create this okay this is the diamond shape circle and then we are going to put to you no know, one loops in between all the faces so hold control and then we can put left mouse and like put put a topology line there but we can also click the middle mouse with control hold control then click middle mouse to put the edge loop at the center and you can see how it snapped there it should be somewhere here uh, let's do the same thing click middle mouse i think this is fine and i'm going to put one at the center here and one at the center middle mouse click middle mouse click and hold shift and then relax Yeah, something like this okay, so relax like this and then got the neck here we just need to connect it and here the topology is very important for the neck it should be like going this way and kind of a simple cylinder it should be like that so that it can bend easily and from here i need to let's let's extrude this like this and we should connect it somewhere here let me connect it with this one maybe this one with this so very and then let's create this this loop going connecting with this one so i'm going to create the face here so we have the four vertices we just need to create it with shift okay and then we can create this as well so this loop is going like this okay, that's very nice then then we can click here are some points here and we can continue this so we have a very clean topology here it should work for the rigging and animation as well so then here we have so many polygons we need to decrease those somehow and I think that's fine i think we need to yeah let's let's extrude this and this kind of you no know, rotating these things kind of extruding like this so again uh, the symmetry is not working exactly here because of again the non-symmetrical thing hold shift and let's connect these things and there's a triangle here and again i need to turn off the symmetry once it starts to you know behave odd just turn off that okay again i got some triangle here that's fine let's see what i can do and then let's connect here connect here connect here it's kind of a puzzle okay then let's hold shift oh, shouldn't be go like that okay here i have two so how can i connect it so i can get it you no know, the triangle there still i have kind of five sided here so let's create a triangle like this so i have two triangles at this area again hold shift and relax those okay so almost we are done with this no face here so yeah so in the next lecture i'm going to refine the head and we're going to you know continue with this part and we're going to finish the head in the next lecture